everybody, this is Praxis, and this is the location of the second homestead. This is where it's going to go in. Uh, just to give you an orientation of what uh, is here, you know, because it's just raw forest at this point, the entryway is just off to this side over here. There'll be an entry greenhouse. People will come in here and then step into, like, the open area of the house. All the windows are going to be off in the south here. Right behind you is south. You can see the, the sun kind of on its way down on the horizon. It's about 145 right now. Uh, coming in here, there's going to be stairway up to the second floor of the house. I'll be, uh, have some storage, bedrooms, things of that nature. Uh, keeping going to the, this side over here, there's going to be the kitchen. Uh, behind the kitchen is the utility room. Back here is the pantry and the uh, downstairs bathroom. The downstairs bathroom is just below the upstairs bathroom. And the idea of that is that we'll be able to have the gray water from the upstairs bathroom feed into the downstairs bathroom. So we'll have really easy, convenient uh, access to that kind of stuff. Uh, back in this area over here, that is all going to get filled in. Anything that we dig from here is going to get pulled this way and put behind the house. That'll help to berm in the house, keep the house warm from the, the cold winters, but also keep the pantry cool from the warm summers. It's going to just modulate the, the temperature back here uh, to keep that back area of the house nice and cool. The front area of the house behind you here is going to be all windows. This faces south. This is going to let in the light. The light um, from the sun is going to make it so we don't need to use as much electricity for illumination and everything. You don't always have to be flipping a light on when you enter a room. It's also going to give us some heat. Uh, you know, shooting through the low E glass uh, on the windows, you don't get quite as much as you would otherwise, but you still do get some. And we are going to have solar collectors on the front of the house to try to, uh, to get some uh, solar heating that way as well. There's been a lot going into just getting to this point. Uh, you know, we had to go through the whole process of permitting and getting all that stuff in order. We had to wait until the contractors were available. They're finally ready to start tomorrow. So I'm really excited. And tomorrow's going to be a big day, but there's a lot of question marks going on. You, you don't really know what's under the ground and what things are going to be like, what are the challenges uh, that you're going to face until you actually start digging into the ground. For example, there's a boulder right over here, just in, at the base of this white pine tree, just right down over here. That could just be a, be a boulder, or maybe that's the top of a gigantic underground mountain that's not going anywhere unless we blast it. So tomorrow, I've got my fingers crossed. I'm hoping that there's not any massive challenges under here, but we really don't know until we actually get down into the dirt and see what's down here. So tomorrow's a big day. It's taken a long time to get to this point, but I'm excited that we're here and we can finally start creating this thing that'll protect and sustain us going on into the future. Hopefully. That's it. Thanks for watching.